Yo guys, Grim's Creed here, and um, I uploaded earlier on uh, about the fire staff um, challenges, which you have to do once you have um, been and constructed um, and done the riddles in the gateway to Agartha area. Now, obviously, you come back and then you have a set of challenges to do with your um, with the whatever elemental staff that you have. Um, at first we believed that it could be designated to certain characters according to the statue, so if you were Richtofen you'd have to pick up the wind, if you were Nikolai you had to pick up fire and so on and so forth. But basically that's not the case because obviously um, in one of the tutorial videos you see earlier on um, I'm actually doing two of the different staffs plus then my own as well on top of that or and then I eventually gave it to sorry I gave it to Matt who finished it off and so on and so forth. So, But basically the key to the fire staff part basically this is kind of like an update because um, I wasn't very specific in my first video because it, it kind of is trial and error now we we had one theory at one point and I'll explain that theory um, we basically gave each colored dot so filled dot a value which we gave the value of 4 um, and then the one that was hollow we gave it the value of a minus 1 so for example there you've got 3 dots um, which would be to the value of 4, 3 of those would make 12, minus 1 would give you 11. There's a number 11 downstairs. Um, this one we gave it the value of um, 4 again, minus 1 gave us 3, there's a number 3 downstairs. And then this one we gave it the bloodstain value because we believed it was the last one and the bloodstain uh, seemed to be at the end. Um, Ignore the coloured one on this one, and the first time we had it, we had this one, and again we gave it the value of 4, minus 2, which gave us the number 2, which also is downstairs. Now what killed that theory, because we thought we were definitely 100% onto something, what killed that theory was when we loaded up the second time round, because uh, to, to start over, was this one. There's no number 12 down there. So the symbols, that theory we had, although it was going well, doesn't actually work so scrap that I just thought I'd explain it so so to where how we started to work things out so that didn't work that we had to kill that one off straight away um, although looking at the other symbols that one worked for example you had four and four that's eight minus one gives you seven there's a number seven um, but then there's this one here as well then that's also got the three dots but it's in a different direction so we couldn't quite use that as, as, as a, a guaranteed that's the theory that's how you got to work it out However, okay, what I'll do is the symbols we had are exactly the same as what we had the first round. The only one that was different was this symbol here. We didn't have that the glowing one, we had the one that's next to it there. So, with that in mind, what we did was is we had to do a process of elimination. Now, if you've got these symbols that you can see lit here, um, we, we, um, sorry, if you've got the symbols that we had originally lit, so scrap that one, if you've got that one lit, that's there on screen now with that one that one and that one we'll go downstairs and I'll show you what I did basically I don't think they have to be in a particular order I think they just have to be lit the bloodstain though one has to be last now what I did was is going on this I did a process elimination every time I hit the torches um, I was Nikolai at the time but your character basically gives you a notification to say something happened like that was positive or something has changed which means you're making process yeah you're making progress sorry and the numbers that I had when I did that was 3 9 11 and then this one here which is the bloodstain this is the last one this one always activates it at the end now obviously we got a different symbol this time so then we had to try and work it out and we couldn't work out what the symbols meant in regards to any numbers now obviously if I do find out this information obviously I will upload it straight away but at the moment I'm trying to help you guys get through this process faster because this is the hardest challenge out of the four so what we did was is going on correspondence to our last numbers we then decided to pick a number that was in the, our first sequence remove it and go through the combinations so for example first off we had we knew we had 11 in there um, so we were going 11 um, 3 and then 2 and then 11 3 and 9 and 11 3 and 5 and so on and so forth and then when that didn't work right once we'd done all those combinations we removed the number 9 so then we were doing 11 2 and another number uh, 11, 3, sorry, and another number, and we were going around, but we were missing out 9. We were never including 9 in that. And all we were doing was going around, and eventually we found the sequence, and that is how we accomplished it. So that is probably the best at this moment in time until I can suffice and fully understand what the symbols up there mean and represent. 
what their value is um, I can't actually emphasize anymore or help anymore it is basically a process of elimination when you get a reaction remember that number if you don't get a reaction forget that number and keep going around until eventually you get it and it's just hey it's just a case of process and eliminating my advice would be when you come out from um, the gateway to Agartha and you do the lightning one first which is the switches you go around and find the eight switches and turn them off till they stop sparking I would come and work on fire one next because it is by far the hardest so all the input you can put into it would help you a hell of a lot um, other than that guys there's not a lot else I can um, represent I'm gonna do a video as well I had a message off of another one of my uh, subscribers uh, was mentioning about the fist punches possibly having something to do with it obviously now that you watch these other uh, earlier videos you'll understand what you have to do um, with this bit however that will be a separate video so don't worry bro I've seen your comment and I will be making a video as soon as I can anyway um, I hope this helps I hope this explains a little bit better as I say just pay attention to what numbers you're doing and just go through one by one it is going to be three numbers this one here is always the fourth and final one you light. Okay, the other numbers, as far as I'm aware, don't have to be in a particular order. They just have to be lit. As long as the correct numbers are lit, that one always comes last, though. That is kind of like the activation, the enter key, as it were. So um, I hope this helps, guys. I hope this update video helps a bit more better because I wasn't very specific in my last video, and I do apologise because we were getting so close. Uh, um, we just, you know wanted to crack on um we got so obviously we got so far as you know we got to powering up we did um however on this video and i'll i'll i won't fast forward it now because this this game video was like three hours long but i will put it, upload it to show you guys what stage we're at when we actually um upgraded all the, the staffs as you see in the last video um we actually managed to spot um I'll, I'll, I'll see if i can get i can show you where it's allocated and then i'll upload the video later um in fact i'll do it shortly um to show you but we actually get a fifth um staff slot get out my way um so i'm going really fast down here so i'm going down towards underneath packer punch and there's a fifth slot so you can see we have these four slots here that hold the <coughs> excuse me that hold the original staffs and just there in the center another one pops up but it's like silver gray kind of silver there's no particular color to it so we have a theory that we have to combine the four rods the four staffs together which would make like the ultimate godlike staff I guess and then we have to do something with that but that we're as I say I'm waiting for a couple of guys you know we've had a couple of guys that have to go to college or work so we're waiting for those to come back and then we'll we'll sort of catch up to where we're up to and as soon as we're up to that point and we've got ourselves under control and we've got a zombie under control I will be uploading straight away I'll be recording straight away even so not uploading I'll be recording first need that bit um, and we'll, I'll show you uh, exactly where we're going with it and what's to do next and hopefully maybe even the end of the Easter egg and we can uh, find out what happens uh, within this map does zombies really end here or will it carry on till next year who knows thanks for watching guys I'm Grimskeed and I'm out